Okay, good morning everyone. Shem Aleichem, Agot Yerag, Ben Shiar, Aganar Yamtif. We're uh, finishing up Simen Kovav. Simen Kovav discusses someone who's Tairasa Yom Nasa, like the Rashbi and his friends. They're Mavsik for Krishma. They're not Mavsik for Tefillah, but we are Mavsik for both. Why the Rashbi and his friends? They were not Oisik B'Malacha and they were not Mavato from their Limud Afilu Rega. So therefore they're only mafsik for Shema and not for Shema Esrei. But we are mafsik anyway for our work, therefore we have to be mafsik for Tefillah. Why are they mafsik for Krishna? A, it's Dairaisa. And even if you say Tefillah is also Dairaisa, but there's no Zman Kavua. Now, when the Rashbi Talmidim are being mafsik for Krishma, they should say it with the brachas and then go back to their learning. So the question is, why are they not mavatel for davening? Don't you have to be mavatel learning for any mitzvah, even midrabanan? <coughs> because someone, um, someone who learns and is not Mekayim, it's better that he wasn't born. Nevertheless, since Tefillah is only Bakashas Rachamim, it's more lenient than other mitzvahs. Now, is one mafsik his learning for Hanachas Tefillin? The Shulchan Aruch said earlier that someone who's reading Torah is Pater from Tefillin, except for the Zman Kriyashma and Tefillah. But the Mishnah Baruch explained that even though someone who's learning is chayv in all mitzvahs, since the Iker Tayelas of Hanachas Tfun is L'Toira, so when you're Oisig in Toira, you don't have to be Mavatel from uh, Talmud Toira to put them on, except for the Zman Kriyashma. Did you remember that? Simen Lamed Ches, Sivkatan Lamed Dalid. That the Iker Tachlis of Tfilin is for Toira, so if you're learning, maybe you don't have to be Mavsik for Tfilin. The Mishnah Baruch said, "Shani mitzvah tzvon sheikar te'alta hu latarik the civil is a karn bein enecha l'man tia taras Hashem beficha." Okay, rub to sivkat and ches enoi poisek, because the Rama said that if you're teaching others, you're not mafsek for tefillah, or even for kriyas shema, but you are poisek for the first pasuk, and. If it's not Ein Sha'i Veres, you're not even, you don't even start for the first Pasuk. Says Mishra Rosef Katan Chesva, Filu Ma'i Deza Yav Razman. If <coughs> you're teaching Torah, you're not Mavsik, even if you're going to miss Zman Kriyashma and Tefillah. But Vedavka Ba'ifen, only in a way, Shem La'yom Adu'ashav, if you don't learn now, Yispatlu, it will become Batol, the learning will be Batol, Vayuchal Iskabit Silmad Achkach, you won't be able to gather together. Halav Hachi, but otherwise, if you're able to gather everyone together, poisek, you interrupt the learning. So according to the Mechaber, if the, you're in the middle of learning, with the, teaching others, and if you are mevatel, you won't be able to gather them up to learn again. You're not mevatel, not for Zman Krishna, not for Zman Tefillah. It's mashma that in all situations you interrupt if you're going to miss his mantvila. But and vehamavatel tefila mishom limud sonus mavatel davening for learning. Afilu loymin and acherim kalyim even if he learns with others the whole day ki ilu loy lamad it's like he didn't learn. <coughs> So that sounds like it's saying there's a machlokes whether you're mavatel from your learning if you're going to miss the zman tefillah. But if you're not going to daven all together, then your learning is worthless. Sounds like the chayadim of El Yarabba Gamkin Kasa B'Shem Piskei Toisus LaHachmer B'Zeh not to miss the zman tefillah for teaching others. Va'ayim beber halacha shebeyarnu do lekulei alma according to everyone del charchila. You're not to start even to learn with others. Once as my Krishna came, im hu If you could estimate shalidei limudai that by learning yavar hazman the time will pass. El chayiv likroiz Krishna mikaidem. You would have to say shema first. So if you're learning with others after the zman Krishna came, if by learning this you miss the zman, then uh, you have to interrupt. 
uh, and say Shema first. Now, let's say like this. <clears throat> You're in a shul, and you have eight people. And now the question is, should you all leave and daven with the minion? thing is, you have a shear after davening. And if they all go and daven with the minion, you're going to lose the shear. Then l'chayra, you should daven b'yichidus, so as not to be mavatel, the limud barabim. Sivkat on tes. If you're teaching others, you don't interrupt, except for the first pasuk. If you're going to miss this man krishma. K'day l'kav ma'achashmayim is man krishma. So that at least your makabel is man krishma, as makabel ma'achashmayim is man krishma. V'yachsar achar halacha she'yish bo yitzis mitzrayim. And you'll try to quickly get in the halacha that has zechiras yitzis mitzrayim. K'day l'hazkir yitzis mitzrayim is man krishma. After you learn, it's a good idea to finish the Kriyashma, even though the time will be uh, batal. So it's an amazing thing. You're learning Barabim, you're teaching Barabim. Zman Kriyashma is coming. Then you only interrupt for the first Pasuk. And you try to say a halacha that has Zechir HaSitzitz Mitzrayim. And you basically miss the rest of Zman Kriyashma. Pretty uh, amazing. Pretty amazing. Um, 28. Footnote 28. Mm. Now, the Zman, Zechir Asyutis Mitzrayim, is called Hayoim, Minatayra. <clears throat> so if for whatever reason a person misses Zman Kriyashma, they should still be Mekayim in the Mitzvah of Zechiras Yitzias Mitzrayim, because the uh, Zechiras Yitzias Mitzrayim is Kol Hayoyim. Okay. But if you're not going to miss Zman Kriyashma, you don't even interrupt for the first Pasuk. It says in Mishabura, Even if you're learning alone, somebody's learning alone, and he can interrupt to say Shema, or he can wait until he finishes and say Shema after. He does not interrupt even to say the first Pasuk. say, even if you began to learn You began learning after this Man Krishma That you're not really allowed to begin learning until you daven first. If you're learning in your house, Right, you're not allowed to start learning in the morning once this man comes until you daven if you're learning in your house and you don't uh, consistently go to shul. You know this halacha. Someone who doesn't go to shul every day to daven is now to learn before davening. Because we're afraid you might forget. Nevertheless, if he started to say Shema, I'm sorry, if he started to learn, he wasn't allowed to start learning. But if he started to learn, you don't have to interrupt. He's allowed to learn so long as there's time to say Shema. Even though he'll have time to read it after. Even though... And he already started learning, but he wasn't supposed to have started. He has to stop, take off right away and read the whole thing if he's learning by himself. By the way, we have a minute to go, but at least now we'll be to the mitzvah of Talmud Torah. This is all if he's learning in his house. But someone who's learning in the base medrash, or even in his house, that is, he started to learn before this man Krishma. And that is the opinion of the Rama is so long as there will be time in the end, you do not interrupt, even for the first pasuk. You don't have to interrupt. Even after when this man comes, as long as there's still time to get in the Kriyashma, look in the Be'er Halacha. Be'ez Hashem, we will continue in Simon Kuf Zayin on Monday. So the schedule next week is, I guess, Monday, Tuesday, 
and Wednesday. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then the idea was to have one day Cholamoid, maybe a double header. And then we'll see everyone after Yom Tif, okay? Have a great, have an easy fast. And everyone should be zoicha to Gmach Simatayva. Kol Tov. Kol Tov. Good to you are. Yes. Uh, I just had a footnote.